Hey everybody, so I'm working on a different read today. Um, thought I'd do a video post about it. Took some pictures. I want everybody to kind of look at the profile and notice what's going on between the heart and the tip on both blades. The, there's some variation there that is not working for me. Um, what I like about this crow though is it actually has a third octave in it instead of two notes I'm actually getting the bonus like super low C um, which is exciting because I don't often get that I love this piece of cane it's a great piece of cane um, but it needs to be cleaned up and particularly I need to get that slope correct on both blades You can hear way at the bottom there's like this this kind of guttural rumble and I want to see if I can enhance that because it has a quite nice you know sound as it were right now I mean it's not bad but it doesn't have the flow and the ease yet that I'm looking for. And I know it's because of that hang up in the blend area of the heart. So I'm gonna take care of that and then I'll take some pics and show it to you and play it for you on the other side. Side note, it also has this quality. So it wants to actually drop down. Um, a lot of times, I don't say a lot of times, but it's, in my experience, a lot more common an issue to blow when you increase the air, the crow to be at one pitch and then go up. It's interesting when you crow and it goes down. So for me, that's a dead giveaway that there is something afoot on the transition between the blend or the tip and the heart. Something in that blend area, the slope area is not kosher. So I need to clean that up. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. Here it is a few minutes later, and I just messed with the angle of the blend on one side of one blade, and I've already gotten much closer. So already that starts. I wish it was a little clearer. And it's like super stable. There's none of that weird pitch bending thing. I didn't clip it. I just cleaned up that transition uh, between the blend and the heart in only one small area. You know, it actually feels really nice. Now, I really want to feel like there's a little bit more warmth, a little bit more bottom in the sound, and a little bit more ease when I articulate low. Um, this is a gouge that I'm just learning. I won't tell you what it is until I feel like I have a better handle on it, but I really like it. Um, <laughs> so stay tuned. Uh, and I can tell that what I want to do is release more of those lows. So my back is still pretty strong. I'm going to go into the back and take Kana there. Okay, so I'm going to share this read and I don't know that I'm going to be able to explain this, but it's almost there. This gouge is thick. It's thicker than what I normally work on. So that is messing with my mojo, but it's created this familiar feeling where the reed's almost there and it sounds great. Like it sounds great, it feels great, it feels nice and stable, but I can tell that it, it just wants to be too open or too big. It just feels like there's still too much bulk there. And I still don't have the tip curl where I want it. 
it's better. And that's really nice and stable. I mean, there's a really nice read in here, but I can feel myself while I'm playing wanting to hold. And I don't want to have to hold. I want the read to sit where it needs to be. So I still have to figure some stuff out. But rather than continue to search for it, I'm going to let it sit and take a look at it again tomorrow with fresh eyes. So the biggest thing to remember that made the biggest impact was correcting that sort of slope issue between the blend and the heart. And after that was good, removing cane out of the back. Um, those two things made the biggest difference and sort of stabilized the entire read. So there you have it. Until next time. Okay, I lied. <laughs> I, went, <laughs> I went ahead and did a little bit more work on the tip. I was like, it's just not right. I can't let it dry out until I've got it a little bit better. A little more out of the tip. I realized one blade was a little bit thicker than the other, so I've cleaned that up. Took a little bit, just a tiniest little bit out right in the catch area, the area that separates the heart from the back. And now we have because it tells you what state that reed really wants to be in. So I'm going to clip it. Then I'm going to put it away. <laughs> All right, see ya.